Hey, it's Michelle Tan from Nom Nom Paleo, and today I'm gonna to show you an oldie but goodie from the blog and from our first cookbook, Nom Nom Paleo Food for Humans. It's my spicy tuna cakes. And when you listen to the ingredients, there's sweet potato, jalapeno, and tuna, and you're like, what? But it really is amazing. There are these delicious, portable, sweet and savory snacks that you can take with you on the road. First things first, you wanna preheat the oven to 350 degrees. And then you grab a 12 cup muffin tin. So what I have here is just two cans of albacore tuna. No oil or anything, um, because I'm gonna add some ghee later. And the reason why I ask for no oil is because I like to control the type of oil and how much is in there. And you don't have to use albacore tuna, you can use salmon, people use chicken, it's kind of whatever you want. I'm gonna add the scallions cilantro and this here is some mashed cooked uh, sweet potato or yam and you can bake it you can microwave it however you want to cook it and I actually just kind of like doing this all with my hands because I just want to kind of gingerly mix it all together you don't want to break up the fish now I'm gonna zest some lemon zest Make sure you don't go, um, you just get the very top yellow part instead of the bitter white pith. And then I'm gonna add two eggs. And I'm super lazy and I don't wanna clean another bowl. Um, so that's why I'm not whisking them first. I'm gonna throw in some jalapeno. And then I like a little bit extra spice. So I add a little bit of red pepper flakes. This is melted ghee because otherwise this is fat free and I don't want fat free spicy tuna cakes. And then I add one and a half teaspoons of diamond crystal kosher salt because I've made this so many times I know this is the right amount. But if you're not sure, you should mix it all up and then fry a tiny patty just to taste for seasoning and then you can adjust it as needed. So I'm just gonna go in with my hands. And you want to make sure the egg gets incorporated everywhere, but you're not smushing up the tuna. I like having chunks of tuna in there just because I think it tastes better. Because I like it like this. I like it that there are pieces of um, tuna still in here. I think it just tastes better. So now we're going to scoop this into a muffin tin. I like to use an ice cream scoop to scoop them in. And this is about a quarter cup. And you just take it and then you put it in each one and then you use the back of it to press down. And I know people have told me that they have just taken this batter and just fried it, but I think that's too much work. It's a lot easier if you just put them all and bake them in the oven. And you don't want to fill them more than like three quarters high. I mean, it's not like they rise or anything. It's just that way. I've done it so many times that I know that, that you can get 12 out of it. So this I'm going to stick in the oven um, 350 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes and then I'm going to rotate it halfway through the cooking time. But they're done when a toothpick goes through the center and comes out clean. I know it throws people off because they see them in these little cupcake liners. But that is so it won't stick to your cupcake tin. And if you would rather them not look like little cupcakes, that's fine too. But then you're gonna be scrubbing a long time. And voila, spicy tuna cakes. They'll make everybody happy.